Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to cover a quick upgrade I made for 1862 Railway Mania in the Eastern Counties from GMT Games. Uh, this is for the solo mode specifically because you set that up a little differently. This is one of the few uh, 18xx games that does feature a solo mode. Uh, I know there's this one, there's 18 Lilliput, uh, but with this one, this solo mode, um, you have, as with all the 18, I assume all the 18xx games, you have this deck of uh, share cards and in the multiplayer game these just get set out on the board um, and you buy the companies in a particular order but in the solo game you are required to shuffle this deck of cards and it's a thick deck there's uh, 140 of these um, 10 these are 10 these are single shares 10 percent of the company uh, there's director shares which don't play into this but you have to shuffle this big old thick deck of cards, and then you deal out a tableau of between uh, normally nine rows of six, kind of like Patient Solitaire, or uh, for a harder game, eight, or for an easier game, ten. But And then they're, they're overlapped, like in Solitaire, so you can only acquire, you can see what's coming down the stack, but you can only acquire the top one of any one stack. So um, it's, a cool, it's a cool system, it's just I don't think... That this, that this deck of many cards works well for the process because shuffling them is a pain and oddly they, they made them plain on the back instead of you know putting some kind of logo but even dealing them out is a pain. They seem a little thicker than regular, than regular cards. And so anyway, they probably work great for the multiplayer game but not so much for the solo game just because of that shuffling required. So, and then if every game you play, you know, as you as you build them up, you're grouping them back together, and then you end up with a grouped again. So then you gotta shuffle, 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 shuffle to make sure they get really thoroughly mixed. So um what I did Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, but I created this uh, tableau board, the Solo Stock Certificate Counter Tableau, and I created these counters to use instead of the shares. And these are the these are the ten percent counters. And I went ahead and added the um, thirty percent uh, director share uh, markers in there as well. And all the files you're going to need are on the uh, on my blog, onesuponagame.com. Uh, along with the layout for the for the tableau board so what i did was i took those took these existing cards and scanned them in and then cropped them edited them in photoshop and made these one inch markers and instead of instead of cross stacking them like you would in solitaire so you can read them it just it works from uh, right to left you can only take the rightmost counter at any one time for any of the given rows. And this is set up for the uh, easy mode with 10 rows, and I've marked it here on the board. So you got normal mode, harder mode of eight. You can lay this if you prefer them to be, you know, come down vertical, then you can just turn these pages the other way. And then, oops, and then turn the, turn the markers as well. Let's fix this. There we go, that's all fixed now. So the other cool thing about this is that now for drawing, you don't have to shuffle. You can just draw from a bowl. And I'm pretty good about drawing from a bowl without looking. But if you wanted to use a bag or something like that, you could do that. And they fit over here when you bring them out of the, when the companies are removed from the game, you can bring them out and stack them here. And they just take up less space overall. The cards themselves were kind of a mess. So when you download the file, you'll end up with You'll need uh, two sheets of what I use with sticker paper. I've got some very nice sticker paper that I like to use. And I printed each of those sheets fully and then stuck them to some thick chipboard um, uh, that I've gotten. All, all this will be linked in the uh, blog post, which will be linked in this video's uh, show notes. Um, so you take the, uh, the sticker sheets, I stuck them to the press board, and then I cut them out to the chipboard, and then these sheets I printed, there's two eight and a half by 11, I printed them on cardstock, 
trimmed them down, then laminated them so they'll fit in the box. And then you can stack them together and you've got your, your tableau that can, keeps it organized for you. So anyway, I just thought this was a nice upgrade to make it a lot easier to play solo. You don't have to worry about shuffling the cards. You don't have to worry about the uh, kind of messy nature of trying to stack, you know, eight to nine, eight to ten uh, stacks of those cards, overlapping them. Um, now you can truly see all the logos as to what's available and then concentrate more on the game. So anyway, if you have any questions uh, or if you decided to make this, I'd love to see your copies of it as well. And I thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.